For the cheapest coins with fast delivery and quick customer support, check out my sponsor, Red Zone Coins, and use code SWIFT at checkout for 20% off. So, 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 family, and today I'm coming back at you guys with another Madden 20 video on the channel, and in today's video, we're going to be going over how we can earn our second golden ticket absolutely free in Madden 20. Now, the way you get the golden ticket is through solo challenges, so I'm going to explain everything you need to do to get the golden ticket, as well as show you guys some strategies to get the solos done as quickly as possible. I'm going to be showing you guys four really important plays in today's video. The first one is for one play touchdowns from anywhere on the field uh, by passing the ball. The second one will be the exact same thing, but for rushing the ball. And then I'm going to show you a couple of defensive strategies. One of them is going to be for sacks on every down. And probably my favorite play I'm going to show you in today's video is a way you can get an interception on every single play the CPU runs, which is just absolutely huge uh, to get these solo challenges done as quickly as possible. Now, before we hop into these, if you did get some value from this video, be sure to drop a like down below. That is the best way to support these videos. Um, and if you're new to the channel and you don't want to miss out on future content just like this, be sure to hit that sub button with the notification bell turned on. Now, without further ado, let's hop into this and let's explain how you can get this golden ticket uh, absolutely free. So as you guys can see, this set right here is the one we're going to be using in today's video. And when you turn in all four journey completion tokens, you're going to be able to earn your choice of a 99 overall auctionable golden ticket player. Now you can just sell the card you get if you want, um, or you can keep them on your team. But what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go over how you can get each of these journey completion tokens, as well as talk about the fastest way to get them. Uh, now the journeys have been coming out throughout the course of the year. So I'm assuming a lot of you guys probably have started on some of them. Maybe you've already got a couple of completion tokens. Um, I've started a few of them. I'm about three quarters of the way through one and two. Uh, so it's going to be a decent grind, but I think it is probably going to be worth it. So let me hop into the solo challenges section and I'll show you guys exactly what you need to do to get each of these tokens. Um, essentially, there's been four journeys released throughout the year and you're going to need to get the maximum amount of stars on them um, in order to earn your free golden ticket. So let's hop into the first journey right here. And this is going to be the journey NFL 100 part one. And as you guys can see, once you get up to the 200 stars, that's going to allow you to get your journey one completion token um, and that's exactly what you need to put into the set and the same thing is going to be the case on the other four journeys or the other three journeys um, as you can see the journey NFL 100 part two is also going to require you to get up to those 200 stars and then you're going to get the journey two completion token uh, the journey number three is going to be this one right here called the journey diamonds now I actually haven't started this one so I'm gonna have to definitely grind um, if I want my second golden ticket but the journey three completion token as you guys can see is going to be there once you get to 320 stars and then the final journey which actually came out today. I've already got 36 stars. It only took me about 20 minutes, I want to say, uh, to get those stars. Once you get up to 200 stars on this one, you're going to get the Journey 4 completion token. Now, I would say it's probably going to take you about an hour and a half to two hours to get each journey done. Um, I'm already like three quarters of the way done these other journeys, the, NF the NFL 100 Part 2, as well as the NFL 100 Part 1. So I shouldn't have a crazy amount of time left to get each of these uh, or to finish each of these. And then I'm going to have to take a look at the Journey Diamonds, which is probably going to take a while. Um, but using some strategies I'm about to show you guys is going to allow you to get these solos done way faster. So I'm going to show you guys a one play touchdown in today's video when you're running the ball as well as passing the ball. And we're also going to go over a way you can get insta sacks and instant interception. So let's hop into the journey four right here. Um, and I'm going to go over a couple of solo challenges which you can use uh, these money plays in. So to start it off, we're going to go into this Raiders versus Steelers one. And this is going to require us to get a passing touchdown on this play. Um, so we're going to have to utilize the one play touchdown that I'm about to show you guys to get a solo challenge like this done. So let me hop into the solo uh, right here and I'll show you guys the one play touchdown. So as we hop into the solo challenge, it is very, very important to note that you're actually going to be using whatever team you're playing as, uh, you're going to be using their playbook. So you actually can't choose what team you're using. Uh, so essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a way you can cook up a one play touchdown out of any playbook. And essentially the first thing you want to find is you're going to want to find a formation that has three receivers on one side and one receiver on the other side. So this gun Y trips week is perfect. We could also come into something like gun Y off trips week. Um, Cause as you can see, we've got a receiver on the left side and we've got three three receivers on the right side. And that is exactly uh, what you guys are going to want to see when you are getting this solo challenge done. So now that we know that, we're basically going to come out in any play because what we're going to be using is we're going to be using Hot Route Master in order to create a one play touchdown. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to max protect. Then you're going to put the wide receiver on the far side uh, where there's no one else. You're going to put him on a post route. You're going to put the wide receiver in the slot on a post route as well. And then you're going to put the wide receiver on the far right or on the side where we've got our other two receivers on a comeback. You're going to need Hot Route Master in order to get this done. But I'm assuming all of you guys selected a golden ticket quarterback for your other one. 
one. So everyone should basically have a quarterback that can get Haro Master. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to wait for the post to come open. And as you guys can see, the post is going to beat any coverage in the game. If it's man coverage, they're going to beat it. If it's cover two, they're going to beat it. Cover four is going to beat it. And that was cover three right there. And we were able to bomb it super easily for a one play touchdown. And that's going to allow us to get max stars and score a passing touchdown whenever we need it. So again, uh, let me just quickly recap what you're going to do. You're going to come out in a play that has three receivers on one side and one receiver on the far side. The wide receiver on the far side is going to get put on a post um, and it should be kind of like a skinny post. Uh, that's what it's going to look like. Then you're going to max protect. You're going to put your wide receiver on the slot on a post as well and the wide receiver on the far side with the other two receivers. Uh, you're going to put him on a comeback. So that's essentially what you're going to do. Uh, just wait for the post to get open and that should be a very, very easily one play touchdown. It'll beat absolutely anything. Um, you can just get a one play touchdown that easily. Next up, I want to show you guys a couple of running plays you can use uh, to get one play touchdowns as well. Um, we'll hop into that right now. Now, in terms of run plays right here, I actually chose the Raiders against Chiefs solo challenge because the Raiders playbook has a ton of really good running plays. So what I'm going to do is show you guys like seven or eight running plays out of a bunch of different formations, which you can use. Um, and then basically just look for that formation and look for the running play um, in whatever playbook you're in. It's probably not going to have all these runs, but I'm hoping uh, that each playbook should have at least one of these and you can just use uh, whichever run they have. So firstly, out of I form, I form close stretch is a very, very good run. Um, you can also take a look at the I form close slot stretch. That's going to be really good as well. Um, a couple of other rushing plays you can use are going to be out of I form tight. If you want to run power O or stretch, uh, both of those are going to be super effective. And then out of I form H wing, you can also run this stretch alert X Loki. Now out of strong, um, there's a run, well, there's one really good run play out of strong H wing, which is also going to be the stretch, uh, the stretch alert X Loki. So those are some runs, which I would recommend you guys take a look and see if they're in your playbook. And if they are, I would recommend you use them, especially when you need rushing plays. Uh, like this solo right here where we need 55 rushing yards. So I'm just going to come out an I form H ring and I'm going to run this stretch right here, the stretch alert X looky. I feel like this one is actually the most popular. I think I've seen it in the most playbooks, um, but all you're really going to need to do is you're going to have to have solid run stick. Um, we're running with Bo Jackson who's got human joystick. So if I get tackled, uh, that's going to be an absolute embarrassment. And as you can see, we hit a huge crease and we're going to be gone. No questions asked. If you use any of the run plays I showed you in today's video, you're going to get basically the exact same results. We can replay the solo challenge right here and I'll show you guys a different play, uh, but basically just use any of those plays I showed you guys and you're going to have really good results. With this I form close slot stretch, uh, one little tip I'd like to give you is you should motion over your Tory Holt or whoever you have right there. Um, and you're just going to want to motion snap him as he's in as he's moving uh, to the left side. And as you can see, look how big of a hole we have to hit with Bo Jackson. Um, it's just going to be too easy and we can outrun basically any defender with Bo. Uh, or so even go for a little truck move there just to show off at the end. So essentially that's all you guys are going to want to do uh, with your running plays. Those are about five run plays, but you you can use, all of which are going to be incredibly effective. You should be scoring a one play touchdown on basically any of those runs. Uh, so be sure to try those out if you need rushing yards, especially like for this solo right here, uh, where we needed 55 rushing yards. You can get that done on the first play uh, by using any one of those runs that I just showed you guys. So now let's go over a little bit of defense right here. The first play I'm going to show you guys is going to be basically an insta sack on every single play. Uh, for some solos, you're going to need a certain amount of sacks. So this is going to be very, very effective for those. Now we're going to want to come out um, in the nickel 245 double A gap. And the play we're going to run is going to be mid blitz. Now, all I'm going to do to set this up is I'm going to press. I'm going to bring down both of my safeties and I'm going to use her as the safety that is in man coverage on the running back. Now, as you can see, they ran the ball on first down. Uh, so that's a little bit annoying. Let's hope they come out in at least one passing play and I'll be able to show you how effective this is. But again, you're going to come out in the nickel 245 double A gap and you're going to run the play mid blitz. All you want to do is press and use her as the person on the running back. Uh, so we're going to be using a Sean Taylor. If the running back blocks, I'm going to actually come in on a user blitz. As you can see, they run the ball again. Let's hope they go for a pass on this play. Um, this is going to be a play you can basically run if you also need to stop the run. As you can see, it's been able to blow up basically everything. Uh, let's hope they go for a pass here. Third and 18. Come on, Baker Mayfield. Let's see a pass from you. Um, again, we use her as the guy that's on the running back. If the running back goes on a route, we cover him. If he doesn't go on a route, uh, we're going to come out on blitz. And as you can see, the players, but their quarterback's basically going to get sacked before they can do anything. Um, and again, we basically went for negative 18 yards there with a sack. So you can run that play every single down. Um, that's going to be a really, really effective one. Next up, I'm going to show you guys probably my favorite part of the video, and that's a glitch you can use to get interceptions on every single down. So I'll see you guys uh, when I show you that one. 
So for this, we're gonna be in the exact same solo challenge, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out in special teams, load block right. Now the first thing that I'm gonna do when I come out in this, um, and what's really, really important, is right after you come out in load block right, you're gonna see that the CPU is actually gonna audible into a different formation, and that's because uh, you're coming up with an all-out blitz, and they know that technically, so they're gonna audible into a pass, hopefully it's something like verticals, and basically the second you see them start to move, you're gonna audible as well, and you're gonna actually audible into punt safe man. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, before I actually come out in it, just because it's a little bit confusing, um, but essentially all you're gonna do is when you're in the audible screen, you're gonna click right on the D-pad, and then you're gonna click square, and that's gonna get you over to punt safe man, and then you're gonna use her as your starting strong safety. He should be on the farthest to the right, and we're gonna use kind of like a swerve technique um, in order to make it look like the wide receiver's open, and then we're gonna be able to catch a pick. I'll show you guys that all in live action right here, but we come out in load block right. We're gonna come out in punt safe man. As you can see, we went right on the D-pad, and we click square and then usering as Taylor Mays we're gonna look like this receiver's open that's gonna force him to throw the ball and then we can just get the easy pick so that's essentially all you guys want to do to get interceptions on every single play that's gonna save you so much time when you're doing these solo challenges because you don't have to like let them go get a touchdown or wait all three downs you can basically get an insta touchdown and an insta pick anytime they start with the ball so that's really really effective I'm gonna show you guys the exact same technique right here uh, just so you can see it happen one more time in live action so yeah, if that doesn't deserve a like on the video, I don't know what does. That is probably such a glitchy play uh, that a lot of you didn't know. Again, you come out in special teams, low block right. You're going to use her as your starting strong safety, audible over to punt safe man uh, by clicking right on the D-pad when you're in the audible menu, and they just make it look like the receiver's open. They're going to throw the ball, and then you can just get that easy pick. Like, this is so effective. This is probably going to save you uh, time every single time you play one of these solo challenges. Uh, so probably my favorite tip of the video is this one right here, uh, but it's going to help you so so much to get basically instant interceptions which can allow you to basically just chew the clock and run the clock out on a bunch of solo challenges or if all you need is an interception to win the game it's going to save you tons of time because a lot of times you're just waiting for the cpu to throw up a ball and that never really happens so coming out in a play like this is super effective um, and it's going to save you tons of time by getting basically interceptions whenever you want so yeah that's basically all i wanted to show you guys when it comes to specific plays now i just want to give you guys a little bit of general advice in order to get these solos done as quickly as possible so there are really two pieces of advice I want to talk about when it comes to just general tips in order to make sure that you get your tokens as quickly as possible. Now the first thing is to make sure you always have chew clock on. A lot of these solo challenges are play a quarter, don't allow a touchdown in a quarter, uh, get a certain amount of yards in a quarter. So you're going to want to have chew clock on for any of those solo challenges. A lot of them, yeah, like I was saying, are going to be like don't allow a touchdown in a quarter. I feel like I saw that a ton. Um, as you can see for this one right here, you wouldn't really need chew clock on, but for a lot of them where you're you're playing a quarter, you're going to want to have shoe clock on. Uh, so that's just the first piece of advice. There's really no reason to ever have it off, especially when you're grinding these. Uh, so shoe clock on is basically the first thing that you're going to want to do. Now, the second thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you get the bonus star done first before you actually get the first star or the requirement. So as you can see for this solo, this is a really good example. As you can see for the bonus star, you need to get a sack and for the requirement, you need to score a touchdown. Now, if you get the requirement done without getting the bonus star, the solo is just going to automatically end. So you need to make sure you get that bonus star before you get the requirement done or at the exact same time uh, to ensure you get maximum stars on the solos because you are going to need max stars on all of these solos in order to get your completion token. So yeah, those are just a couple of other pieces of advice I want to give you guys. Um, honestly, when you're playing these solos, just throw on some Netflix, throw on some YouTube videos, and it will make it seem like the time is going by pretty quickly. Um, for me, I know I'm going to watch some Netflix anyway, so I might as well just do these solos in the background. Uh, that's basically what I did this morning, just watch an episode of The Office and get one of these or get 36 stars done uh, that's a pretty good deal or a pretty good way of getting the solos done in my personal opinion so yeah that's gonna do it for the video i hope you guys have enjoyed be sure to get these done if you want that free golden ticket and if you use these strategies you're gonna be saving at least i would say like 45 minutes um to an hour honestly on each journey because you're gonna be able to get a touchdown every play you can get a rushing touchdown on any play you can get a sack on any play and you can get an interception slash turnover on any play so yeah that's gonna do it again hopefully you guys did enjoy be sure to drop a like if you got some value from this video I'm assuming most of you guys didn't know that interception glitch, uh, so drop a like for that one. Hit that sub button if you're new to the channel, and until next time, fellas, I'm out. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.